I'd like to thank you for joining me on today's adventure. I hope you find it informative. Today we're at a place called Ibex Springs. Parked over there this time because I'm going to be doing some updated 360 pictures of the site. And as you can tell, there's really no place to hide the vehicle except for in the wash. Frank Denning and Stanley Miller found a silver copper outcropping in 1881 and named the mine Ibex. The load was located three miles west of the site in the Black Mountains. The two men sold the mine to Reverend Calvin Puage for $48,000 in May of 1882. Reverend Puage, along with 18 investors, founded the Ibex Mining Company and built a little five-stamp mill here at Ibex Springs. None of the original buildings from the early days exist anymore. All of the buildings that do exist at the site came from the talc mining, which took place in the region from the mid-1930s to the late 1960s. This is a neat little building. I'm assuming this was, had to have been a wash hut because they had a lot of piping coming in. It might have actually been a house. It's just a cute little shed. And over here, gas ranges, quite a few of them. This right here, I almost guarantee it was an outhouse. Yes. So, there's the pit, shed. All right, let me get an updated 360 of this and I'll meet you over at the next place, which is a collapsed building. Off to the next site. Thing is, is I do not know what this building was. And I've never been able to find information about it. it might have been just a bunkhouse. You can see there, that's the insulator right over there for electricity. And we're slowly working our way up to that main building up there. And then there's a couple buildings down in the wash that we'll also be visiting. So let me go ahead and get this 360 done and I'll meet you at that other place. I finished the 360 for this building and then the 360 for this building. Now we're gonna head up to this one up here, which I'm assuming was the main office or main mine building because of the fact it was multiple rooms. An old refrigerator down here. This is a really neat little building. <clears throat> Had it been something in its days. So, Again, old style wiring, 
with the cloth insulator. There's the ceramic insulating stand posts. Oh, this is coming down. One more good windstorm, this one's gone. Yeah, we're heading down there as soon as I finish with the 360s in this area. An old sink basin, sink cabinet, sink base, sink here. All right. Let me get the 360 done and we'll get on our way. Just finished up the 360 in this building. Now we're gonna go ahead and head over to this next little building down over here. Now this, I guarantee, was a shower house. You could just see the shower stalls. And then over on this side, this right here might have been a little shed to where the water heater was. You can see the size of the drain pipe there. Still got a bunch of porcelain actually inside. And so let me go ahead and get the 360 for this building and I'll meet you at those next two. Finish this one. Now we're heading over to this stone building. What's interesting is this is actually the only stone building here. So I am kind of wondering if this was part of the original buildings that the second mining wave actually stumbled across and thought they were something else. It's a pretty impressive little structure, well built. And of course the wood, that was most likely put in later. And this next little building here, and there's an old fridge there. Neat little building. Would have liked to have seen it when it was still complete. This next little building over here is this is a cute little shed. I love this old gas stove. That's right there. Hey. You had a shower stall here, a little bathroom. This is just a neat little one prospector shack. They did run electricity. That's right here. That's where the um, gas bottle would sit to actually power this. It's this, this a neat little stove. Now, let me go ahead and get 360s of this and I'll meet you over there. 360 is done for these buildings. Again, that is just, just some impressive brickwork or stone work. Now look at that. So we're off to the next set of buildings. Just a quick little hike up this wash. What's really impressive, they actually have date trees up there. It's really cool when you go up there and you can see the dates growing. Birds are all over the place. 
a really neat site. That's an interesting little formation, the way that it's eroding. That is actually very cool. I like that. This is gonna be my first 360. So I shall meet you in the next one. Before I go ahead and do the 360 on this one, let me show you the building. Gotta be very careful. There's a lot of nails sticking up. Uh, I'm not gonna go in there because of all the nails. But this was a, a little house. And over there in the corner, you can see where the basin was for the kitchen and the sink. Again, a little shower stall, probably had a bath toilet. Up there is a water heater. There's the water tank for the entire facility behind that palm tree. Overall, it's a cute little camp. All right, let me get my 360s and move to the next building. Our next building, which I actually think was a bunkhouse. And we'll just leave the 360 rig out here for now. A lot of lizards out today. You can see why I thought this might have been a bunkhouse or even a multiplex because you have a room here, room here, massive hallway here in the middle, another room. Now, this, is actually an access point to the spring and it doesn't really go back very far. What they were using it for was ice storage or cold storage. So let me go ahead and get my 360 and we'll go from there. Done with this 360. Now we're gonna head up here. This is the last building that's still standing in this area. I haven't really figured out what this one is. I'm believing it might have been a workshop, but there's really no way to get equipment up into it. It's not really a mill. It's not big enough for what was produced in these mines, which you will see here in a little bit. I really don't have a clue on what this was. So I'll leave the 360 here again. I'll check it out. Got a bed frame here. You can see this used to be the road. It's just completely eroded away. <clears throat> the reason why I don't think it's a mill because it had this horrible 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 fiber board which smells like a pack of wet dogs once it gets wet or disturbed it might have been another bunkhouse it might have actually been where they were eating because from the looks of this this might have been the main kitchen for the workers it's hard to say And I 
this right here goes to the spring. So they're running pipe and stuff underground. If you listen carefully, that's the water running. So there's still a lot of water down there. Well, let me go ahead and get my 360 done. And then I'll head back to the truck. And I'll head up to one of the mines. It's a very impressive looking mine. And you'll see what I mean by that when I get there. <laughs> 